Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching Miss Marvel episode 2. Now after the first episode showed Miss Marvel rescuing Zoe and happening to learn about a little bit about the bangle that gives her her powers, we learn in this episode that it turns out the bangle comes from a long lost re relative named Amita. She was a the great grandmother who apparently was lost during the time of the partition. Though considering that the bangle has Arabic and Urdu letters, even though it does seem like the bangle would have some sort of alien origin, it obviously would have to be adapted for the time period it was sent into. So I'm interested to see what the story is behind that thing. On top of that, Kamala meets her love interest for the season, Qumran, and he seems like a pretty charismatic guy. He has a good rapport with, with Kamala. He is pretty funny, and they even happen to both have an appreciation for Kingo, who, in my opinion, was still one of the better aspects of the Eternals. I admit that movie's flawed, but at the same time, King O was one of the best things about it. Anyways, this episode is less focused on superheroics and more focused on showing the, the central mystery of the entire series, while also del delving into some of the side characters, such as Nakia, who is planning on going into this moss collection that I don't that I don't really understand that well, but that's because we're dealing with a religion and a group of people that I have very limited information on, and I have very and that I have very little understanding of. But it was interesting to learn about these sorts of things, while also getting a scene of Kamala rescuing a kid who's about to fall off a building. Granted, she happens to screw up a few times, but you want your heroine or hero to be flawed at this point in their careers, so of course. It's nice to see Kamala screw up and then eventually manage to save him while also unfortunately hurting his ankle. Yeah, not the most graceful of rescues, but hey, her, re her rescue of Zoe was more based on instinct anyways, so it's nice to see her strengths and flaws established right out of the gate. On top of that, I really do like how the cast interacts off each other. Outside of the superhero scenes, it does seem like a slice of life about Kamala's life, family, and friends, and Considering that that's a big part of the series, I'm glad that the supporting cast is all really, really good. Even if they're full of a lot of actors that I've never heard of before. But that's fine, because if these people happen to do well, like, like Kamala's mom and dad, their, Nakia, Amir, and Amir's, Amir's wife-to-be, Qumran... All of them ha are played pretty well by their individual actors, and it, I feel like they could do really well on future projects. And this one happens to have all the cast members really feel natural with each other. So, granted, not all these characters are specifically from the comics, but um, but many of them are, and I do feel they their their interactions actually are a lot better than they were in the original comics. It feels more natural. It feels a bit more adapted for modern day, and it happens to feel like Kamala is more likable as a result of having better relationships with the people around her. Even if she still can't drive worth anything, but Kumaran's probably going to help her out with that, I'm sure. So yeah, we we also happen to see that the, that the feds are getting into what her powers are and what, and what she's doing in Jersey. So I'm guessing she'll they'll be chasing her around for quite a quite a bit in the series too. So let's just hope the story happens to get into the central mystery sooner rather than later because I actually do think the central mystery is pretty interesting. I just hope the slice of life stuff doesn't overtake it. But that's all for now. See you next time.